This is Tony Kay, and today's tip is how to add footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word. You might hear these referred to as citations or references. If I'm using a different version than you are, stick around because there's similar techniques for almost all the versions. Also, I'm going to give you tips on how to use multiple references and how to use the same reference multiple times. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, so here we go. I've created a document that I want to add citations to, also called references. In Microsoft Word, these are called endnotes or footnotes, depending on where you put them on the page. Go to the last piece of punctuation where you want to add your citation or reference. Click, come up top here to insert, and then come down to footnote. Now whether you want it to be a footnote or endnote, it doesn't matter. You're going to click on footnote. Those are going to be inserted at the bottom of the page. The endnotes will be inserted at the end of the document. You've got a choice here to go for footnote or endnote. Let's start with an endnote here. Now you've also got a choice for your numbering. You can auto number them and then you can choose which way you'd like them to be numbered. I'm going to come to options and then I'm going to change the numbering format to go to a straight one, two, three, four, etc. Right there. Started at number one, continuous. I'll click OK for that. Click OK for that. Now it's added a number one automatically for me right there. Since we chose EndNote, it inserts the one at the end of the document. Now it's time to add your citation or reference. I suggest using one of the standardized styles, and I use the Chicago Manual of Style online. You can find it by searching for Chicago Manual of Style, and that'll be for citations. I've added a link in the description box below. So, this is the first EndNote. There we go. We'll go back up to the top of the document where we put that in. It's put a one. It's linked to the one. Now you're probably going to want to add a series of your endnotes or footnotes. So a little further down in the document, let's say you want to add a second one here. We'll click right there. Come back up top again. Insert. Footnote again. We're all set up on all this already. So we'll just click OK it automatically gives us a number two at the bottom. This is the second footnote. There we go. We'll go back up top and we see the number two is here. If you need to add a reference in between ones you've already added, it's no problem. Just come back up to where you'd like to add the reference. Click, insert, footnote, and this time it's going to change it up for us. It'll automatically number them in between the two. So now this is the new second. Okay, we'll change this one to the third just to keep everything straight. And go back up. Now let's say that you want to use the same reference or citation multiple times. Very easy to do. You come to the last piece of punctuation where you want to add the endnote, footnote, citation, reference, all the same thing basically. Click right there. This time you come up to insert and now you go down to cross reference. Once you get here, you're going to probably have to mess around with this box a few times to get things exactly right. But we want endnote here. And also here we want to uh, have it formatted as an endnote number formatted. That means it's going to be a superscript when it's numbered. So click endnote number right there. And now we've got a choice of the references that we've already included in our document. See, we've got one, two, three. So if we're using it for a multiple time, we can go to number two right there. Insert, close. And now that one right there that we just added has referred to number two. You can do that as many times as you want to do it. Now there's going to be times when you want to include multiple references for the same sentence. So we'll go to the one that we just added right here as a cross reference right here, number two. I'm going to add a comma. We're going to format that shortly. But for now, we're going to go back up to insert. This time we're going to go to footnote because I'd like to add a brand new one. Everything looks to be in order here, so we'll click OK for that. It adds a number four for us. This is the multiple. Okay, we're just going to call it that. We'll cruise back up to where we just were. And as you can see, it's added a number four for us right here. Now, I want to format that comma so it gets up where it belongs. So I'm going to highlight that. 
come up to format, font, and then I'm going to put that as a superscript and click OK. So it takes that comment, puts it up in the right spot for us. I sincerely hope this tutorial helped, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon on Tony's Tips and Tricks.